द ऑस्ट्रियन कैपिटल ऑफियना हैज बीन नेम्ड एज द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट लिवेबल सिटी फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री आफ्टर बिनिंग प्रेजेस फॉर इट्स रिलायबल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर स्टैंड आउट कल्चर एंटरटेनमेंट एंड इम्पेकेबल एजुकेशन एंड हेल्थ सर्विसेज The ranking of 173 cities was released by the Economist Intelligence Unit on Wednesday which is based on number of factors including healthcare education stability infrastructure and environment Vienna which has occupied the top position several times over the years was closely followed by Denmark's capital Copenhagen which retained its second place position Melbourne and Sydney took the third and fourth place respectively after the two Australian cities had dropped their list in the recent years the three Canadian cities of Calgary Vancouver and Toronto also landed spot in the top 10 while Switzerland received top 2 10 entries with Zurich taking sixth place and Geneva taking the seventh place with Calgary Osaka which saw a small boost in its culture and environment ratings due to the withdrawal of COVID-19 restrictions rounds out the top 10. Meanwhile, some European destinations suffered the biggest drops this year. London and Stockholm both found themselves following down the rankings with the former dropping 12 places to the 46th and the latter dropping 22 spots to the 43rd position. After entering the livability survey for the first time in 2022 at number 35, Scotland's capital Edinburgh fell to 58th place this year. Algeria's Algiers, Libya's Tripoli and Syria's Damascus were ranked the three least livable cities in the world. The Ukrainian capital of Kyiv, which was missing from the 2022 list due to Russia's invasion in February 2022, fell down the list this year as a direct result of the impact of the war and is now ranked among 10 least livable cities in the world. The removal of the COVID-19 related restrictions has overall boded well for global livability in 2029, said Upasana Dutt, head of Livability Index at EIU. She further added, education has emerged stronger with children returning to schools alongside a significantly reduced burden on hospitals and healthcare systems with some notable improvements in cities across developing economies of Asia and the Middle East. As the world's political and economic axis continues to shift eastwards, we expect the cities in these regions to move slowly up our livability rankings.